All right, what's going on everyone? Today we're gonna to be talking about CSS ellipses. So what this is, is a way to dynamically cut off your line of text and append three dots like you see on many other sites. I know it's on LinkedIn and probably many other sites that um, show off text. So to go ahead and demonstrate this, I have two separate files here. So as you can see, we have this blog card with an image, a title, a, uh, a date posted, a value, and then we have the summary, and then we have this view uh, blog button here. Okay, so what we're going to be creating is we're going to be taking this blog card and creating this right here where we're going to cut off the blog summary and then have this view blog button here right after the three dots. And we're going to do this with CSS ellipsis. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so here in VS Code, we have the simple markup and styling for these blog cards right here. All right, so if you want to follow along, I'll go ahead and leave the repository link down in the description below. You can go ahead and download that and have all this already completed for you. So what we're going to be focusing on here for this CSS ellipsis is this uh, div with the class of summary here. Okay, so you can see here in the markup, the summary div has a position of relative, and then simply we have the paragraph tag right now, currently just having a margin bottom of 24, and then the span has a cursor, a font size, and a color of gray. So to achieve this look right here, what we first need to do is we need to head over to our paragraph tag here, and we want to define a height on this. Now this has nothing to do with the actual ellipsis, but we don't want to have more than one line uh, for the summary, because as you can see right now, it is only one line, but if we had it longer, then this wouldn't work properly. So what I wanna do is define a simple height on here, and we're gonna give this 20 pixels, okay? Next up, what we wanna do is you want to say overflow and we want to set this to hidden. So if we go ahead and check this out now, you can see we only have this one line showing, the other stuff is no longer visible, which is what we want, okay? So the next property we want to throw on here is we're gonna say white space and we want to say no wrap, okay? And then all we have to do now is we need to set the text overflow property and we can set it to ellipsis and then you can see if we save this, nothing happens. Now, the reason is be, this is happening is because we haven't set a define width to our paragraph here. Now, if we do this, then it'll go ahead and cut off the remainder of the text outside of that define width. So if we go back to our style sheet here and we go right below margin bottom and we say width, and let's just do 200 pixels, which is what I did for our demo. And you can see now that when we set a defined width, it goes ahead and cuts it off, and then we have these three dots right here, which is what we're looking for. So this is really simple and easy to achieve. Now, the last thing we need to do, which isn't really a part of the CSS ellipsis, is we want to move this view blog button right to the right-hand side of these three dots here. So what we can do is simply come in our span tag here, and we're gonna do a position and that's my alarm, we'll turn that off. We'll say position absolute here. And then we want to set the bottom here to three pixels because what we're doing is we have the summary set to position relative, so we're gonna set the span absolute to that, just for reference here. And then we can set the right to 47 pixels. Okay, now if we save that, we should see now that the view uh, blog span tag is going to be right uh, to the right-hand side of this paragraph summary. So that is the CSS ellipsis.